Semadon TV Semadon TV Semadon TV Reaching Hallelujah I can't hear you shout Hallelujah If you believe And you believe And you believe That joy has been given to you Stand up and shout Hallelujah If you believe that through this program, God has released joy upon your soul, upon your spirit, upon your family, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that this joy will multiply, shout another hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout another hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me just one message for somebody here. From the beginning of this program, men of God have been blessing you, true or false. You know what it means to bring them here? It's not easy to bring them here. And I want to conclude everything for you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Now let me quickly let you know that now God now him bless me. If not be God, I'm not going to feel they do it now they do so. For Catholic Church, for you to do what that they do, now God now go follow you. Amen and amen. amen. The Lord said, I should tell you today that your joy will last. Yeah. Your joy will last. Yeah. Your joy will last. Yeah. That joy he has given you will last. Yeah. Your joy will last. Yeah. Somebody shout yeah. Somebody say, my joy will last. My joy will last. Say it again, my joy will last. My joy will last. If you have much, my joy will last. My joy will last. Tell your neighbor, your joy will last. Your joy will Touch last. 21 persons, tell them, your joy will last. 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 This joy that God has given you will last. This joy that heaven has given you will last. Father Dibia, your joy will last. Agatha, your joy will last. Sunday, your joy will last. Peter, your joy. I say your joy will last. Amen. If you believe, shout amen. amen. My joy we last. Your joy we last. Our joy we last. Your joy we last. My joy we last. Your joy we last. Stand up. Face your neighbor. See a neighbor. Neighbor. Iwagwa iwe pushwe. See a neighbor. Neighbor. Iwagwa iwa fiaka. See a neighbor. Your joy. Your joy. Your joy. Your joy. Your joy. Your joy. We last. We last. We last. We last. Shout amen if you believe. Amen. Every plan of the enemy to make your joy not to last. I destroy that plan with the Holy Ghost. Fire! Hey, hey, hey. Lift up your leg and say, My joy will last. My joy will last. Hit it on the ground and shout, Amen. Amen. Your joy will last. <laughs> your joy will last. My joy will your joy we last. Your family joy we last. Your firstborn joy we last. You will go wait here. You will too quickly. Your joy we last. Your joy we last. Our ministry joy we last. Our family joy we last. Our business joy we. We, last. 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 we,
Sit down. Your joy will. Your joy will. Look at me. Your joy will. Your joy will. I say your joy will. Father, I saw somebody in the Bible. His joy not last. I said, God forbid. Eh? For you and your family and me and this ministry. Our joy will. If you can say it, it will happen. Your joy will. Quickly turn your Bible to 1 King chapter 16, verse number 15. Oh my God. This joy that God has given me on the day of my wedding will last. On the day of my birthday will last. The joy that God gave me after my prayer in my testimony will last. Aha. Nobody can take it away. For my joy we your joy we first king chapter 16 verse number 15 are you there first king chapter 16 verse 15 first king chapter 16 verse 15 the word of god says in verse number 15 in the one that here make one here we don't go waste time we don't finish I'm not putting a signature to all that started happening since on Wednesday. And that's not what they do. Every last Saturday of the month. First what? Verse what? Chapter what? The Bible says, In the twenty and seventh year of Asa, king of Judah. How many years? How many years he reigned? In the 27th year of Asa, king of Judah, did Zimri, who? Reign seven days. In Tisa. Eh? Somebody become king. He reigned for 27 years. Another person, during the same era, become king. He reigned for seven days. Somebody celebrating his marriage anniversary. 21, 20, 27 years. Another person, seven days. Ore. 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 Somebody shot error. Uri. There is a king somewhere. There is a man somewhere celebrating his wedding anniversary. 27 years. And there's another man there. His marriage. Seven days. After seven days of wedding. Somebody celebrating his kingship with crown on his head. For 27 years and the other one, only seven days, not even seven years. I say your joy will last. Your own, you will last. Even for further work, a priest died after one year. Why are other priests celebrating Golden Jubilee? Father CJ has celebrated 50 years as father. How many 50 years? Ogi keep father. Father CJ, who run on Golumba? Omele 50 years. Ogi father, we came mum. Or the question them, he want bouncing strong. He want all you boys don't know. He want heady. He shall be able to go go or fear you boys, fear theology, or fear philosophy, or fear linguist. 50 years, still strong. Like a your chief father came on seven years and one. The family of ECJ, his brothers and sisters, are still celebrating its priesthood. And then some families have stopped 
answering mama, father. Some families have stopped answering when her father. Because when you call her mama, father, I'm using on my own as an example. The joy in the family disappeared. The joy in the marriage disappeared. You went to school with your mates. They graduated. A one progress. You want tomatoes? Mange? Akmoke labo? Oye you leh we just school? Where are we going to? A man. Look, you see, Bible, Father, is very deep. Or oh, see, King Asa, <laughs> in his 27 years, as a king, Zimri, Celebrated only seven days. Have you not seen it happen? See it happen in our world? How the devil takes people's joy? Have you not seen a man burying the children with any YLC uniform? All you gain for sending your child to the university is for them to bring the cops back after five years. Oh, any power trying to give you sorrow, somebody shall fire! You will not labor in vain. You will not pray in vain. Your joy will last. Your joy will last. Your family joy will last. Sit down, sit down. Sir, the devil is stealing people's joy. Not up to three months, you married your new wife. Your wife has changed. Is this the woman I married? There are many people here, their marital joy disappeared just the week of their marriage. The joy of their marriage disappeared the week. That happiness of you know, we're happy and happy. Congratulations. <laughs> Disappeared less than four days. Why? Because Revelation chapter 12 says the dragon is waiting. As soon as your blessing is born, it will spoil it or destroy it or kill it or steal it. If you can lift up your right hand and declare a powerful and amen. All those who are planning to steal your joy, they shall be blindfolded. I give them blindness. I give them blindness. Your joy will last. Your joy will last. Your joy will last. Your joy will last. Joy will last. You will reign forever. You will reign forever. You will reign forever. You will enjoy long life in the name of Jesus. Do you know what it means for mama to bury children? That is the plan of the devil. I have been asking God, how will I do this work well for you in a calendar? And that's why you see me changing. See me change because God will direct us. Holy Spirit will give us this step. Very soon it will click. It will click, sir. Sir, joy comes from within. The enemy steals joy. Do you know that the joy of the priesthood can be taken away? Will not hear me? Amuri, eh? father, can be taken away. Unlike the joy of your first mass. When everybody gathered, I said, Nafana, Namwa, Namonso, 
Have you forgotten how you were preparing food for your husband? How you were meticulously put fish and arranging fish to have a good shape? Ibi Chano, Yasimba, honor the new homer. Elena Nwadia, oh, the anu is not posing well. You take your spoon and turn it and arrange it well. Are you doing that now again? If you can stand up and shout amen, your joy will come back to you. Your joy will come back to you. And your joy will last. <laughs> your joy will last. When you heard that prayer, warrior, you were very happy. Are you happy now? Uh -huh. Sit down, sit down. I want to quickly tell you seven ways in which the devil can terminate our joy. Because after this program, your joy will come in every day. And the Ombia, it will last. And on him, Ombia, it will last. If your joy appears, it will last. If your joy appears, it will last. Seven ways that the devil terminates people's joy. Who's a sir? Who got terminated the joy of people? Number one, ungodly lifestyle. Ungodly lifestyle. You know what is godly. Ungodly lifestyle can terminate your joy. Ungodly lifestyle can terminate your joy. The moment you begin to live life that is not of God, your joy can be terminated. I don't want to waste time, so I will be fast. Number two, ignorance. Somebody shout ignorance. Shout it louder. Ignorance can terminate your joy. How many are in here? What you don't know can kill you. I hear people say, you don't hear my name. Now lie. That is a demonic ideology. What do you not know? Fiki you. Never you say, what do not know? No go kill me. Now lie. What do you not know? Fiki you. What do they not know? Don't kill them. Ignorance. That is why you must always come to hear the word of God. For God to open your eyes. For God to teach you the way. I say the word of God is a lamp unto my feet. Psalm 119 verse 108. You must know. When you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Amen and amen. May God bless you with wisdom. May God bless Father Dibia with wisdom. May God bless your children with wisdom. Lift up your right hand and say after me, Father, give me the grace to live a godly life. Do not allow me to follow the word. Help me to find joy in my salvation. Amen. Jesus, you are the truth. Show me the way. Deliver me from ignorance and foolishness. Amen. Number three, what can terminate our joy? Spiritual wickedness. You see, there, 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 there are many people who you think they like you, they don't like you. They plan to poison you, poison your happiness. Not everybody wants to kill you, they want to spoil, they want to take away your joy. They are not happy that your child graduated. They saw you dancing. Hey, you get many men. Hey, you get many men. Watch him. Mm. 
they are called sadists. That is why, mind those you show your success. Mind those you show your happiness. If you show the wrong people, they will terminate it on time. It's called spiritual wickedness. They can go to a native doctor and say, I want that woman's child to die. I want that woman's marriage to scatter. I don't want the wife to have children. That happy marriage will begin to get sour. That beautiful woman, lovely woman that you married, and you are okay with the woman. You are okay with the man. But they terminate the coming of children so that the marriage will not be a joyful marriage. But if there's anybody here who wants to receive this for themselves or her family member, if you can give God a loud amen, there shall be testimony! There shall be testimony! In the name of Jesus! Number four. Causes. Abumono, causes. Ibuono, causes. Causes. Who cost you? For instance, it's a new ring. We enter that finger. Eh? I reverse that curse in Jesus' name. Yeah. Clap your hand and shout the man. Yeah. Clap your hand and shout the man. Yeah. Clap your hand and shout the man. Yeah. Any curse that terminated your joy today, I reverse in the name of Jesus. Whatever that stopped the flow of joy into your family, I cast it out in Jesus' name. Your joy will be restored. Your joy will be restored. Your joy will be restored. Somebody open your mouth very wide, lift up your hand and shout, My joy will last. Say it, let the devil hear you. Say it again. Say it again. That is why I laugh at those who are wishing me dead. They go to look. Because my joy will last. My son for the day walk came and we were chatting. I said, my father, my father, we shall last. He said, we shall, we shall live long. We shall make it. Any power going to places to terminate your joy. Please, hear this. After this program, everybody send message to your children. Send this message to them. Send it to your sisters and brothers. We have ended our program and we are going home with this message from our father, Father Dibia. He says, our joy will last. My son, your joy will last. Bless your daughter. Say, my daughter, your joy will last. Oh, you 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 will last. Any man or woman that wants to spoil your soup, he wants your soup to spoil. Holy Ghost! The 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 Holy Ghost! Your joy will last. Your joy will last. Your joy will last. Your joy will last. Kabarakwa wegi ekwesuwe onyembibi. Kabarakwa wegi e. Oh, Barra Jesus, when Mary, Gabara Kwan Wegi, Egwansu, Onyem Bibi, Gabara Kwan Wegi, Oh, Barra Jesus, when Mary, Your joy we Your joy we When I 
say your joy will last, it means say your children will live. It means say your beginning not gonna die. Because your beginning they give you joy. The breadwinner will not die. Your joy will your joy will your marriage will your priestly life will my anointing will my power will your joy will lift up your head and shout yeah your joy will last eh? your joy will any man trying to uproot the tree you planted so that you will not reap the fruits upon the eyes of that man the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost your joy will somebody cannot come and say I will marry you you are the last, see? You are quite a man marriage. You are one man only. You share invitation card. You share, and tomorrow they say no more marriage. Your joy will last. That man promised to help you. And when you went there to meet him to receive the help, or oh, change your beer, now lie. That job that God gave you that day will last in Jesus' name. Lift up your head and shout the yeah. air. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Hold your neighbor's hands. Hold your neighbor's hands. Whether they like it or not, their joy will last. Your joy will last. Nobody can spoil it. Nobody can destroy it. I say your joy will last. Father Dibia, your joy will last. I say your joy will last. I say your joy will last. I say your joy will last. Gideon, your joy will last. Your joy will last. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Shake your neighbor's head. Shake your neighbor's head and shout them out. Your joy will last. Your joy will last. Your joy will last. Your joy will last. The Bible says, King Asa, in his reign, eh, 27 years, or the Kwakio, in the reign of King Asa, 27 years, Zimri reigned for only 7 days. Oh yeah. 7 days. He was made only one week. Only one may say, Saturday, or next Friday. Wanapwaya. Lift up your neighbor's hand. Hold your neighbor. 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 Lift up. Hold that person up. If the person has no hand, hold his leg. Buru kwelu. I'm a no worker. Oh my God. By the power on this altar where we have celebrated mass for three years. Where the blood of Jesus has been lifted up for three good years. I stand beside this altar. I stand on my office desk. I stand in this office as a priest. And I declare that your joy will last. Your freedom will be permanent. You know the devil? After God set the Israelites free, they were happy. They were happy, but the devil pursued them. When the devil pursued them, they looked back, they saw, oh, their joy disappeared. I want to talk about the restoration of joy. Their joy disappeared. Their joy disappeared. Ah! They say, How can those whom God has set free cry? Those God has redeemed cry, and they were crying. There are many things you are seeing in life that is making you to cry. 
And that is the plan of the devil to stop you from celebrating. Oh, you know, but there's something wrong. Devil has done something to their joy. Oh, they are like a car. They are a motor. They are no law. But there is something wrong. I sat down and I asked God, what is giving me sorrow in my ministry? What is it that is giving you sorrow? Why is my joy not lasting? Just like the message of yesterday. People are hailing you, but you are shedding tears. People want to be like you, but you are not happy. People want to be like you, but you are mourning. When somebody's blood has drained, the, the sickness is called lecomia. Many of us are suffering from spiritual lecomia, cancer of the blood. And that was why our preacher, the second day, talked about blood tunic. That joy is a tonic. Your joy, hey, if you meet somebody suffering from lecomia, put blood in his body today before 7 p.m. Father, you will be looking for where the blood pour enter. Put eight pounds of blood in the person's body. Oh my God, there was one reverend father that died of leukemia. He was my spiritual director. Father Odo. When I was in seminary. Jesus Christ. You still put, 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 put blood in the body. Buy pounds of blood. Put them in the tree. Let the whole blood enter the body of somebody suffering from lycomia. Oh my God. Before the next day, the blood will drop. You begin to ask yourself, what is taking this blood? It's because there is a presence of a strange power in the bloodstream. A young priest in worry died of that. Less than one year or two years. You see that? There are many of us, our marriages are dead because there is no joy. A ministry like this, you enter, you see all these things happening. You expect the man of God to be filled with joy. Now the question is, is this man of joy joyful? Hold your neighbor's hand and lift it up. Every strange power that has come to terminate your joy, a hey, child of God, if your amen is louder than 51 persons here, you will give your testimony. You will give your testimony. Fire will destroy their agent. In Jesus' name I pray. Lift up your neighbor's hand. Hold your neighbor. Hold your neighbor. Don't ever leave your neighbor again until I tell you leave your neighbor. Or else you've sucked the flow. You don't know what is happening in the spiritual realm. Number five. True close friends and associates. You can lose your joy. Secret rats. They are chopping you. They want to teach you lesson. Imagine human beings say they want to teach you lesson. Woe to you if the person close to you is carrying that anointing. <laughs> Woe to you. I no many say I want to teach him a lesson. You will see where a small girl of twenty years is teaching a governor lesson. You understand me? You will see where a, a spirit will enter a girl and we pretend to love you. With the intention of teaching you lesson. Say so they do them before. This time it will suffer. Well, don't worry. They want to teach your husband lesson. They want to teach your wife lesson. See who won't teach lesson. See who won't teach lesson. That 
statement is demonic. That statement is a sign of ayah. I say, okay, I'm trying to get here. He wants to ruin you. He wants to take away your joy. He wants to terminate your joy. Close friends. Now lift up your neighbor's hand very high above the head. If your neighbor is taller than you, climb chair. Any man or woman that is close to you with the intention of teaching you a lesson, God will abort their plan. The Holy Ghost will teach her a lesson. The Holy Ghost will teach him a lesson. The Holy Ghost will teach them a lesson. In the name of Jesus. They don't have right to teach you. Our teacher is the Holy Spirit. Most so, Mama, if you make mistake in sin or evil, Holy Spirit can teach you a lesson. You will learn more. You will serve God more. You can even pray, have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion. But if human being with evil power want to, you know, will come out from inside again. You know, come out, you, you, you go at our hala. Because the intention, if you could just. Hold your neighbor hands as I call out these demons. It is happening. Number six, your joy can be terminated through attack. Somebody say attack. attack. Say attack. attack. Hold your neighbor. Who say hello? This Holy Ghost conference will not end without you going with your testimony. Any man or woman that wants to attack you to take away your joy, I destroy them with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost! The Holy Ghost! The Holy Ghost! That attack we go back to sender. 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 Somebody enters your business. On where they move. But it was until you they, they try you, you say, mm, for where? Why? Because they, your joy has been attacked. Maybe you, you, your home, you, 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 no joy. The dragon is there in your labor room. That as soon as it's come up, bam. People keep hearing bad news. Hebrew phone, but after all prayer, mama, Junior, how are you? Bad news. No testimony in your family. But lift up your neighbor's hand. <laughs> if I be a priest. You see, one thing I know is that God called me. <laughs> and I'm convinced of that. <laughs> I have no other power than Jesus. That is why sometimes you see me and they misbehave. Because I don't even understand what they do with me. My spiritual director tells me, say, Father, listen to me. Don't begin to look for any plan. Flow with God's plan. I went to him. I say, I am confused. Look, I'm, I'm in trouble. What do I do? I say, don't begin to crack yourself on what to do. Just submit yourself and flow. Who told me that? Fadisi Chey. A man of 50 something years. I say, mm, you are a child of destiny. God has already planned something to do with you. So stop cracking your brain off. I say, just submit yourself and flow and see. Anybody who touches you is in trouble. Because you are fleeing with God's plan. May it be so for you and your family. Jesus. 
Ojabu no soroya, kage me. Ojabu no soroya, kage me. Lift up your neighbor's hands. Any man or woman attacking your children, Holy Ghost. Any man or woman attacking this ministry, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Who is attacking your business? Who is that agent? True attack. Sir, when attack comes, hey, hear me. Hear me. I was told that the father, mother of Fanatoni Dibia is alive. Now, how will this woman feel? Mama, imagine, you see, thank God, I have buried my mother, I have buried my father. But the point is, when I see these things happen, I get angry and say, God, I hope it is not my fault, because you have made me a watchman in these houses. I feel so bad. I feel so unhappy. I blame myself for the death, any death that is based on permissive will, not divine will of God in these houses. Even Father Charles Sugawa came to me during, I said, Father Mario, you are the cause. You are not praying for us again. The mother is there, shedding tears. Now, after the funeral on the 10th of this, of, 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 of next month, when you see the woman again, we look at Mama Father. When you call her mama father, it is mockery. You will look for another name to call the old woman a priest of just 14 years. 14. A vibrant, energetic man, a builder. Just two more, two more, two more on the brain. That is why we keep praying that whatever God has not planted in your body, if you can shout fire, it will disappear! This woman has enjoyed the joy of being called Mama Father for just 14 years. But the, if the mother of Fadisi Che is alive, 50 years, or the Kwanza Mama Father, oh, go, go, go. Mama, Mama. That is why we must be careful of you, young, young wives. And young, you, you don't understand the battle. If you don't understand the battle, you don't Last wrong step can make your joy to be terminated. Wrong step. But you take the wrong step in life. There is a boy um, I, I was training. I picked when he was very small. He was in primary school. In primary three, I picked him. He finished primary three. He entered secondary school. I was training him. When he got to GSS 3, he was supposed to own generator. He did own generator. I was angry with him. He came and I told me, I want to go. I said, ah, bye-bye, go. And he left. The next time, he didn't write the GSS 3 exam. Next time, he appeared, he came to the school. Uh, I looked at him, how are you? He said, fine. Check out, how are you fine? What's happening? He said, he's now a day student. I said, okay, you stay with your brother. I said, okay, God bless you. And the brother is a peasant. Farmer. And then, after that last session, he stopped going to school. Now, he's riding on Kada. Madeji Faka will pull Fede and Nono. Makagi. Karata. Bad steps. Lift up your hands. I'm ending with that. Buzeke I want to prophesy. You know, when, 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 when a man of God, assigned by God, speaks, it can swallow up evil. May you never take any wrong step in life. Did I hear you shout a loud amen? Another loud amen. May your children never take any wrong step in life. 
On a step, you have to take him. Allah. On a step, wrong step. And that is the devil's plan to make you take a wrong step. When you take the wrong step, bam, you are gone. I'm telling you, sir, you see me as I did so. Eh? I am a human being like you. Whatever you are passing through, from your head to your feet, I'm passing through it. Job, are you hearing me? You hear me? The grace that is upon my head is available and is upon your head too. That's why you come. Good. That is it. Oh, hear him. That's it. Lift up your hands. Anybody in your family that has taken the wrong step, if you can shout amen, it shall be reversed. Did I hear you shout amen? Shout amen. That's why we are suffering. You entered into a relationship that is not your own. You start eating the food that is not your own. You make friends that is not a good friend. Just wrong step. My dear, Father D.B. should be a joyful man. So that's what I'm looking for. What is it that is taking away my joy? You must ask yourself that question. No matter what, St. Paul says, I have learned to live in empty and in plenty. And in them I find joy. I rejoice in empty. Why should I use my hand and embrace what is giving me sorrow? Lift up your hands. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. If there's anybody here whose joy has been stolen, I decree now sitting on my throne as the king sacrificing mass as a priest and holding this microphone as your prophet. Everybody call me my prophet. Louder. Louder. Okay, I give you this now. From now on, if you want to call me Call me my prophet. The more, you, the more you call me my prophet, the more it makes sense to you. If you carry your phone and say, hello, please can I speak to my prophet? Because every priest is a prophet and a king. I am your prophet. I am. I'm your prophet. I am your prophet. I am your prophet. The reason why many of you are not getting it is that you don't see me as your prophet. You see me as colleague. Go and see the Obi of Iseluku, very small boy. Igwe. Look at the Obi of Abo, small boy. Doba. Uh, because he's your king. You see old men, chiefs, our grandpapa stand before them and do like this. Then you need to know if he need to know if he. Huh? Do they? Do they? Because he's a king. Do they? A man of 32 years or 40 years. Do they? A man of 82. Do they? And they will bow. And he will decree. And they will accept. And you see me. Father, father, father. Father, 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 does not make sense. So even when they say, thou shalt not call anybody your father, they may be right. <laughs> no, no prophet, mine. You will put mine, no prophet, that is nonsense. Who am I to you? Now lift up your hands. Let me prophesy. Your joy will last. Your joy will come back to you. Your joy will be restored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. I prophesy. Any power that has been existing in your life, taking away your joy, Oh, today, may this altar swallow the power now. May this altar of Lumen Christi family swallow that evil now. Swallow that evil now. You shall have joy forever. You shall have joy forever. You shall have joy forever. The Bible says, rejoice again. I said, rejoice. God forbid, only seven days you enjoy money. God made you a rich man. You enjoy it only seven days. Can seven days build a house? What, what made Zimri to reign for only seven days? It's what I don't know. But Asa was reigning for 27 years. When you went here, you say, huh? First Kings chapter 16, verse 15. The Bible recorded there that Asa was reigning for 27 years as a king. Zimri reigned for only seven days. Somebody, if you have mouth, say it. God forbid.